everyone, this is Eileen here from SingaporeOLevelMax.com. In today's video, I'm going to share with you under additional mathematics for O level, this topic called quadratic equations. Let us take a look at the question. The given quadratic equation has negative roots which differ by 3. Find the value of each root, the, the constant k. First of all, we will want to rearrange our quadratic equation into the standard form. After which, we're going to state the value of a, b, and c. a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is the constant. Now, since this question is about finding our roots first, so we'll need to define our roots. I'll call the smaller root alpha. And therefore, the bigger root will be alpha plus 3. And the reason why we want to do that is because the relationship between the two roots are already given in the question. So one thing that I wouldn't encourage you to do is to actually introduce another unknown called beta for the second root. So we're going to keep it to this way. And we're going to first form our first e uh, our equation, which is sum of roots. So alpha plus alpha plus 3 will be equals to negative b over a. 2 alpha plus 3 is equals to k minus 1 over 1. So that was simplified to be 2 alpha plus 3 equals to k minus 1. Equation 1. The next equation that we will be forming will be about product of roots. Alpha times alpha plus 3 is equals to c over a. So it will be alpha square plus 3 alpha equals to minus k over 1 which is equals to minus k. This will be our equation 2. So we have two equations. We're going to solve the equation simultaneously. Since the question is about finding root first, so I'm going to make k the subject. From equation number 1, k is equals to 2 alpha plus so I, right now I call this equation 3 I'm going to substitute equation 3 into equation number 2 that will be alpha square plus 3 alpha equals to negative 2 alpha plus 4 expand What we have right now is a quadratic equation in terms of alpha. So I'm going to shift everything to the left hand side and we're going to solve it. So alpha plus 1, alpha plus 4 is equal to 0. Alpha is equal to negative 1 or negative 4. So we have found two values of alpha. One will be negative 1, the other one will be negative 4. So what we have just found out are the values for the smaller root, but we have to decide whether we're going to accept both the answers or we're going to just accept one. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out what is the value of the bigger root when alpha is minus 1, the value of the bigger root will be 2. So, if you go back to the question, it says that the quadratic equation has negative roots, which means to say in this case we have to reject alpha to be minus 1. Let's 
check the other value. When alpha is minus 4, the bigger root is alpha plus 3, which will give us minus 1. So, this is the pair of uh, answers that we are looking for, for part A, because both the roots are negative. To find out the second part, which is the value of k, what we need to do is go to equation number 3, and we're going to substitute the value of alpha, which is negative 4. And that will give us the value of k to be negative 4. So this is how we approach the question. And the two main formulas that we have used in this question will be on sum of roots, which is equals to minus b over a, product of roots, which is equals to c over a. I hope you find this video beneficial. Do subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.